Well, it was hailed as the deal to safeguard the country's energy for decades into the future. But tonight, the government is going to have to fight to secure the first new nuclear power station in Britain in 20 years after the European Commission questioned the levels of subsidy the UK taxpayer will be handing to the French and Chinese investors backing the deal. It was a £16 billion deal which the government said would stop the lights going out across Britain. Now the country's first nuclear power station in 20 years could be in jeopardy after the European Commission raised fundamental concerns about the way it's being subsidised by the taxpayer. David Cameron hailed the deal with the French-owned EDF and the Chinese government last year to build the new plant at Hinkley Point in Somerset. It is a good deal for the country. This is cheaper than other non-carbon sources of electricity. By investing in nuclear power stations, we actually increase the chance that bills will be lower than they otherwise would have been if we didn't invest in technologies like this. But Brussels believes government loans and long-term guarantees over the price paid for the energy from the Hinkley plant could fall foul of tough EU rules on state aid. In a 68-page assessment published today, the European Commission said that it considered that if indeed aid exists, it would in principle be incompatible under EU state aid rules. And while the government vowed the deal would reduce energy bills, the Commission warned it might instead increase prices. The document said the measure, moreover, could hardly be argued to contribute to affordability, at least at current prices, when it will instead and most likely contribute to an increase in retail prices. The result would be the British taxpayer subsidising a French company. The document said the investment contract might result in a substantial transfer of wealth from consumers to the EDF-run subsidiary. David Cameron and President Francois Hollande today signed a joint declaration on nuclear power. But the intervention from Brussels has further inflamed relations between the UK and Europe. Conservative backbenchers bitterly accused the Eurocrats of preventing the UK from controlling its own destiny. Well, the Department of Energy and Climate Change said this evening this is all part of a normal process which they've built into their planning for Hinkley Point C. The department added, we will be using the consultation period to show that this project meets state aid rules, that it will cut carbon in Britain's energy sector and improve our energy security in a way that is good value for money.